Okay, guys. <clears throat> um, let's proceed. Let's go to B now. Now again, uh, I have already explained everything on number A. So this is the solution for number B. So they said this determine the value of a hundred rand. Determine the value a hundred rand will grow to in five years. That is, if this hundred rand will grow, then we are appreciating. So we need to use the plus the formula with a plus. Then now, if the interest is calculated per, I mean, is calculated at twelve percent per annum compounded, that means we need to use the compound formula. A is equal to P one plus I to the power of N. A is equal to A is the future, <coughs> is the future amount or accumulated amount. So P is our hundred p is this hundred rand the principal amount so the the amount that we had at the beginning of everything one plus then now i is 0 0.12 0 0.12 but then you need to remember that this is compounded quarterly it's compounded quarterly, so you need to go back to our compound formulas. Here are our compound formulas, guys. Here are our compound formulas. So if you can notice here, for quarterly, for quarterly, um, you divide I by 4, then you multiply N by 4. So let's do that then. Let's do that now. So I will I will need to divide i by four. Then I will need to multiply n by four. N in this case is five. Then I do, I multiply five by four. Then from here I go straight to my calculator. From here I go straight to my calculator. Hundred times one plus into. I mean times into 1 plus 0 0.12 over 4 to the power of 20 then I get 180 comma 6111235 every time um, when dealing with financial mathematics firstly write all the numbers after the do not round off immediately. In case we need to use this amount on the next uh, question, then we will have to use this one, not the one that we rounded off. So now we are rounding off and also including the units. So I have 180 rands, comma, 61 cents. Yes, then this is it. Let's quickly go to number C. I will not do number D. Number D is your homework. Number D will be your homework. Then how are you going to get the corrections? Um, um, I don't know. I don't know. Then now number C. This is the solution of number C. So here we compound semi-annually. Here we are compounding semi-annually. Then let's go back to, let, let's firstly you write down our formula. This is our compound formula for appreciation. A is equal to P is our hundred trend plus one plus then I is zero comma twelve divide by so the divide number which which number we're going to divide by since they said half yearly or semi annual then let's go back to our compound formula table 
then now here is our compound formula so for semi annual for semi annual we divide by by 2 for semi annual we divide by by 2 and multiply the period by 2 you divide the interest by 2 you multiply the the what is what, what is it that you call it you divide the interest by 2 you multiply the period by by 2 so let me divide here by 2 then let me raise to power here i have n equal to 5 years times 2 so i can go straight to my calculator and find out what that is um let's quickly check i get 179.084767 then you can let go of the rest at least write the numbers of the comma therefore a is equal to 179,8 cents then this is your final answer now for you please go ahead and do number d then here on number d the only thing that i want to emphasize is that because you are compounding daily now because you are compounding daily then you will divide your i by 365 and multiply your n by 365 i hope this video makes sense and helps someone out there thank you very much um, don't forget to subscribe